All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. And this is going on my uh, welcome, members, Patreon, Patreons. This content, of course, y'all know is exclusive. And um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we really feel about, um, like, because I don't got nothing to get transgenders. Let's get that straight. You know, if you feel like, if you feel like you in, was born in the wrong body, I, you know, I get it. You know, I get it. The double Y chromosomes and the X chromosome. And I do know that um, because we're talking pure science here. Um. It, it, it's what comes after that, that the assignment, you know, and how they're supposed to act and behave and all that. I understand that. While I do believe that, I also agree with Halle Berry. Um, there's certain things where you know you have a little boy and there's certain characteristics where you can possibly know that you have little girls. They are, in my opinion, in my opinion, wired a little different. OK, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with somebody because they engage in same sex relationship. I'm just saying it's different. Just like you could have a, 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 a child with two X chromosome and one Y that would be different. So the behavior could turn and possibly come out different. That's my belief system. But when we start talking stuff like um, the inclusive part. And when you start talking about Joe Biden allowing uh, the transgenders, I think this happened way before uh, Joe Biden, the transgender, the equality piece. Well, I've been talking about, I have a problem with transgender men that have uh, transformed from men to women. I have a problem with them competing with women in sports, natural women. OK, because they are not natural women, no matter how much they think like that, uh, unless they're a morphodite, a homorphodite, they weren't wired that way. So it's totally unfair to put um, in a race a, a woman who used to be a man up against a woman who has never made that transition at all. I think that's totally unfair. And if you want to win that bad, that you got to do shit like that, then it's like, come on now. You, you, you not being fair. It's not just, it's not nothing that is remotely, in my opinion, fair. How your ass going all of a sudden? That's just like me. Uh, I feel like a kindergartner or I feel like a seventh, uh, 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 yeah, a kindergartner. I don't know because the kindergarten might can beat me running. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And I start competing with the kindergartner. I don't think that's fair, y'all. That sounds like some craziness if I ever heard it. Okay? So it's like, how far is this rabbit hole going to go? And it don't mean I have anything against transgender. Nothing against anybody in that uh, that is in that situation. And if you feel like a, a a woman and you've been feeling like that all your life, who is another person to tell you that you don't? That's not your cross to bear. Long as you deal, if everybody will deal with what their cross to bear is, then the world, the society will be okay. You don't got to tell nobody, well, you know, you shouldn't be thinking like that. You shouldn't be doing that. You should what these grown people y'all talking about? Actually, like the police when they pull you over and they want to treat you like you chill, like a child, talk to you crazy. And if you say something back, they act like you don't have no right to say anything back or question them because they're your daddy. I'm like, dude, get, to, get get out of here. I've been raised. You're not going to come back and raise me. I'm an adult. Now I'll take the ticket. And I'll leave. But I don't have to sit up here and listen to your disrespect. In fact, I'm not even interested in it. 
Okay, so that's how we're going to do that. My paying no, no goddamn attention to you. So, when you begin to think and cosign craziness, because that's what I call it then, then it's like madness. I can't cosign that one. I cannot cosign women competing against transgender women. That's not fair. That is not fair. And this is going along in my series. Um, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't work like that. You know. You know, it's only is let me tell you something. Most of the women that play basketball, and I play ball. Uh when we're good, we don't even play with, we don't even want to play with girls. We want to have better competition, so we play with the guys. I wish you would send me on the court with a bunch of girls. This is how it was when I was growing up. I played with the dudes, okay? That's why I tested my game, man. So, um, most of the young ladies now, you see that's what they do. They Most of the ballers, they play with the guys. And, you know... It's not even a thing. It's not even a, co a conscious thought. Guys, come by, pick you. Come on, let's go ball. Let's go hoop. That means you good. So, in that sense, I'm with it. There's still men with guys playing against girls, and they know who they're playing against, and it's it's they know what the undertone is. You get down the lane, somebody too strong for you, you know, you can't you pass it. You know, sometimes you can just shoot, whatever the deal was. You probably wouldn't get up there and snatch no rebound, but you had other skills that you developed and they knew you had, regardless of whether you was a female or not. But this shit right here, I ain't with it. You can't wire yourself up, um, be a man, wire yourself up, and now you a female. And because you're taking testosterone, um, you still feel like you are like a natural born woman. And that's not 